The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 16, duel with Daredevil. A teenager's life is filled with ups and downs. This is one of the down periods for young Peter Parker as his well-meaning aunt talks on and on and on. But why won't you call Mary Jane Watson? I'm sure you'd like her if you dated her. But I've got a girlfriend, Aunt May. I don't want any blind dates. But Mrs. Watson is such a good friend of mine, and her niece, Mary Jane, would just love to meet you. And you're not really engaged or anything. Gosh, Aunt May, I'm old enough to arrange my own dates. Honest. I'm not getting any studying done. I might as well go out. I'll be back later, Aunt May. I'm going out for some air. Be sure you dress warmly, dear. It's a bit nippy out. Five minutes later, if darling Aunt May happened to glimpse skyward, she'd see the most colorful, most dramatic, most exciting of all superheroes swinging through the sky, not feeling the nip in the air one single bit. Good old Aunt May. She means well, bless her. But sometimes I think I'll pop my cork if I can't get away from her nagging. After long, relaxing minutes of effortlessly propelling himself from rooftop to rooftop, Spider-Man comes to a sudden halt, his keen eyes spotting trouble below. Well, well, looks as though this evening won't be a total waste, after all. Or shady-looking characters racing out of the rear of that store, carrying money bags. Just what I need to snap myself out of the doldrums. Step on it, the burglar alarm went off. The cops will be after us soon. Look, a blind man. He might have heard our voices. We can't leave him here to identify us later. Uh-oh, that innocent bystander is in for trouble, but not for long. If you creeps don't want witnesses, you better get rid of me. My baby blues saw the whole thing. It's Spider-Man. Let's get out of here. Hold on, boys, what's your hurry? Didn't you know that this is Let's Get Acquainted with Spider-Man week? Keep running, he can't catch us all. Yeah, he's only one guy. Exactly two seconds later, one guy attacks the like task force. Don't worry about a thing, boys. This'll only hurt for a minute. True to his word, the amazing Spider-Man has his four ex-sparring targeters all nicely gift wrapped and ready for delivery to the police exactly 60 seconds later. Are you alright, mister? Need any help in getting where you're going? No thanks. I can manage. But I'm much obliged to you, Mr. Uh, Spider-Man, isn't it? That's the name, pal, but don't bother thanking me. Just remember me and your will. And you'd better be careful not to walk in these lonely neighborhoods when it starts getting dark. To someone like me, night and day are the same. But thanks anyway. So that was Spider-Man. Hmm. I'd say he's about 17, 5 foot 10 inches, and judging by the sound of his pulse and heartbeats, in excellent health. Wouldn't he be amazed if he knew that I could see everything that happened, with my senses as well as he could with his eyes? In fact, I was looking forward to catching those four crooks myself, but I didn't dare change while Spider-Man could see me. Now, due to the delay, I'm late returning to the office, and I don't want Karen and Foggy to worry about me, so I'll travel a bit faster now, as only Daredevil can. My built-in radar sense enables me to detect objects all around me, and my sense of hearing, touch, taste, and smell magnified dozen times more than normal, form my infallible eyes. I can even hear the shape of any object by analyzing the sound of air currents as they swirl around it. In fact, with my every sense operating at peak efficiency, I actually have an advantage over any normal sighted person. Minutes later, Daredevil enters his office through a back door and again becomes Matthew Murdoch, attorney at law. Foggy and Karen are still inside. I hear their breathing through the wall. And then... Oh, Mr. Murdoch, we didn't hear you come in. We've been waiting for you. I'm taking Karen to the circus tomorrow, Matt, and we wondered if you'd like to join us. The circus? No thanks, Foggy. You two go alone and enjoy yourselves. I have quite a bit of unfinished work to catch up on tomorrow. But, Mr. Murdoch, 
You work so hard. You need some relaxation. Aaron's right, Matt. You mustn't allow your handicap to make you a recluse. You can't work all the time. I dare not tell them the truth, that I don't trust my feelings for Karen. It's better that I don't see her socially. But now, let us leave the offices of Franklin Foggy Nelson and Matthew Murdoch and turn our attention to New York's biggest arena the next day, to be refined. Keep rehearsing. Everything must be perfect tonight, for this will be our greatest show. Never before has such a daring crime been attempted in the heart of a big city. Ever since the Hulk defeated me months ago, I've planned this one spectacular performance to outdo anything we've ever done in the past. Bring me the newspapers, the ads, the posters. I want to check them. We must make sure we play to a sellout audience tonight. Here they are, Ringmaster. Everything is the way you want it. Ah, good, good. By the time the fools realize that Spider-Man is not on the show, it will be too late for them to do anything about it. It was a great idea of yours, boss, to advertise Spider-Man. The tickets are selling like hotcakes. But the crafty ringmaster has made one small miscalculation. She didn't stop to think what might happen if Spider-Man himself should see the ad. Strange. That poster says that I'll be appearing tonight. Well, if the proceeds go to charity, maybe I should perform. Just to convince people that Spider-Man isn't so bad. And so... I hope you won't need me tonight, Mr. Jameson. I'd like to go to the circus. You can go to Timbuktu for all I care. You haven't brought me any sensational photos for days. And I don't keep you around for your personality. And by the way, while you're there, don't take any pictures of Spider-Man. I'm through printing news about that phony. Maybe if I stop writing about him, that publicity hound will go to some other city. That suits me, Mr. Jameson. Peter, may I see you for a moment when you're through? I just found the greatest recipe for spaghetti, and I thought I'd cook some tonight. Would you and your Aunt May like to come for dinner? Eee, I'd love to, Betty, but I'm sorry. I I'll be busy tonight. Y you see... Oops, darn, I dropped my circus ticket. I saw that, Peter. If you want to go to the circus without me, that's all right. But you could have told me I... I don't care if you're taking some other girl. No, Betty, you, you don't understand. Wait, heck, how can I explain that I can't take her because I'll be changing to Spider-Man? And at the law offices of Nelson and Murdoch, we find... Say, listen to this. Spider-Man will be performing at the circus tonight. Spider-Man, eh? That should be mighty interesting. On second thought, perhaps I will go with you two. It sounds like fun. Oh, that's wonderful. A short time later, just before the show begins. Well, explain everything that happens, Matt, so you won't miss a thing. I appreciate that, Foggy. Even though I'll be able to sense all the developments a lot clearer than you can see them. Hmm. That's the blind man I helped last night. I wonder what my spider sense tingles so when he's near. Oh well, maybe I only imagined it. He certainly can't present any sort of threat to me. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. I always wanted to be a circus star, and with my spider powers, I ought to be a smash sensation. Anyways, it's nice to be able to do something for charity. The house is filling up good, boss. We'll be soon rich. The fools have come to see Spider-Man, but they'll get a far different kind of show instead. Keep the entertainment going until the place is filled. I don't want anyone to get suspicious. And as the minutes drag on, the audience grows more and more impatient. We want Spider-Man! We want Spider-Man! Spider-Man is up above the tent. I can detect his unusual strong pulse rate up there. If there's anything you want us to describe, Matt, just say so. Bring on Spider-Man! Spider-Man! We want Spider-Man! Actually, I should be describing things to them. Spider-Man is about to make his appearance now. His pulse has sped up. He's preparing for action. Well, this is as good a time as any. Here goes. I wish the Ringmaster would give us a signal. I'm getting jittery. What if something goes wrong? Look up there. He did show up. It's Spider-Man. Howdy, folks. Listen to him cheer. I guess I'm not as unpopular as I used to think. Judging by the direction of air currents, Spider-Man is slowly descending from the ceiling, and he's upside down because his heartbeat is higher than the sound of his voice. Poor Matt, how can he appreciate any of this? Boy, it's a pleasure to be able to do this without having some deadly enemy to worry about at the same time. And then, for the next few fabulous moments, Spider-Man gives an exhibition the like of which has never been witnessed before anywhere in the world.
This is nothing compared to what I'll do when I really get warmed up. I never thought he'd really show up, but there's no reason to let him interfere with my plans. Even Spider-Man cannot stop me. Wow, this is the greatest act I've ever seen. He must do it with mirrors. That guy's the most. The time has come. The arena is packed. Nobody suspects a thing. Let's go. You all know what to do. There must be no slip-ups. That must be the ringmaster down there. I didn't see him before. I wonder why he's standing and waving like that. What's he trying to do? Crab my act? Those swirling circles on his hat. They're making me dizzy. Dizzy. I am the ringmaster. My will is your will. My will is your will. Now that he is under my control, I'll face the audience. This is my supreme moment. This will be the largest crowd I've ever hypnotized. My greatest triumph. My will is your will. My will is your will. And then, within split seconds, the most incredible feat of mass hallucination ever recorded takes place as the entire audience falls in the hypnotic trance. My will. I've done it. Now quickly go among them and take their wallets and their jewelry. Hurry. The spell lasts only for one hour, and when they awake, they will remember nothing. When they find their valuables missing, they'll simply blame it on pickpockets. But, though unnoticed in that vast audience, one man is not hypnotized. One man did not see the swirling circles in the remaster's hat, because that man is blind. Incredible! Every single spectator in a deep trance. Moving with sure cat-like grace, the fearless adventurer silently drops at the corridor below. And within seconds. Unless I'm mistaken, I'll have to battle the entire circus cast, so I may as well get an early start. Daredevil, what's wrong? Why isn't he going into a trance? He's not stopping. Only one thing to do. Spider-Man is still under my control. He shall battle for me. Spider-Man, my will is your will. Daredevil is your mortal enemy. Attack him. Uh-oh, Spider-Man is under hypnosis too. He has to obey the ringmaster. Daredevil is my enemy. I must defeat him. What a stroke of genius on my part. I've hypnotized Spider-Man to fight my battle for me. To fight the one man who might save him. I must defeat Daredevil. It is the Ringmaster's will. My radar sense detects a small aluminum object ten feet off the ground. It must be a trapeze. By concentrating on Spider-Man's heartbeat, I knew he was about to leap. But for how long can I elude him? Footsteps. The Ringmaster is fleeing. Only he can break the hypnotic spell. I've got to stop him. Spider-Man, save me! Your will is my will. I must save the Ringmaster. And so, the two masked adventurers begin their battle. The battle caused by the ruthless power of the Ringmaster. Daredevil is much faster than I would have guessed. His strength is astounding. It's any times that of a normal man. I can't possibly match his own superhuman strength. My only chance is to outthink him. I have saved the Ringmaster. As he commanded. Still, in a hypnotic trance, not acting under his own will, Spidey waits for further orders after he has done what he was told to do. Don't stop, you fool. The daredevil isn't beaten yet. Lucky for me, Spider-Man can't think for himself. The advantage is mine while he's moving under a hypnotic spell. After him, Daredevil must be defeated. Daredevil must be defeated. This pole must lead to the trapeze platform. I'll have room to maneuver up there. While I am denied the use of my vision, Spider-Man's brain is fogged by hypnosis. Thus, neither of us have a clear advantage. My radar sense informs me of objects hanging nearby, and my logic knows they must be trapezes. You can't escape me as easily as that, Daredevil. My spider's web can beat any trapeze. He's coming towards me again. Head him off. He's agile as a panther. He landed in front of me, but now he'll stop to wait for further orders from the ringmaster. I'll take advantage of that slight pause to flip myself over his head. 
I did it, and I can hear the ringmaster's heart pounding ten feet in front of me. My foot touched a circus ball, just what I needed. But then, before the storm of hypnosis didn't make a move. If I make you tumble, your hat is sure to fall off. A second later, guided by the sound of the still shaking hat, fearless daredevil arrows his all-purpose billy club cane with unerring accuracy. My hat! I must get it! My super-sensitive hearing picked up the sound of tiny electrus vibrating within the ringmaster's hat. In some way, it is responsible for his hypnotic power. After him, Spider-Man, retrieve my hat at any cost. Retrieve hat at any cost. I was right. I can sense the powerful surge of energy pouring outward from the hat. If anything can stop Spider-Man, this will. Halt! You are no longer under the Ringmaster's spell. I release you from your trance. 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 I hear his pulse rate changing. His heartbeat has become normal. He's snapping out of it. My head. Fog. Mist swirling about. Be beginning to clear, I... I could think again. Once free of the hypnotic spell, the brilliant brain of the masked teenager grasps the whole situation in one split second. Much obliged, Daredevil. No telling what harm I might have caused if you hadn't broken the Ringmaster's hold over me. Chalk it up to self-preservation on my part, fella. I'd rather have a gent like you with me than against me. Thanks for the compliment, but I owe you a favor, and a Spider-Man never forgets. Better save the hearts and flowers for later, Spidey. I hear a mighty angry ringmaster getting ready to attack us again. Whoops, I almost let the cat out of the bag about my super hearing. Don't just stand there, you useless fools. We outnumber those two masked meddlers. We're highly trained also. Let's get them, unless you want to do the rest of your act in jail. The ringmaster's right, it's only two of them against all of us. Let's go. Rest of the audience is still hypnotized. If we can polish off Spider-Man and Daredevil in time, we'll still get away with our plan. Suddenly, the sightless Daredevil clutches his knees and in one winding look maneuver scatters the tightly bunched performers like ten tins. Uh-oh, the sound of something large and light being gently wafted down towards me. It can only be a safety net. There's tension at both ends. Two trapeze artists are trying to snag me inside the net. Well, I'll just go along for the ride. You and your crummy ideas. How can we wrap him in the net when he's holding on to one end of it? Daredevil, you've done your share. It's my fight now. Come on down. Okay, Spidey, they're all yours, but if you need me, just wiggle your web, fella. And now, boys and girls of all ages, we present the main attraction, namely that little old web spinner, me. Careful, don't be overeager. There'll be plenty of me to go around. You'll each get a chance to be slapped silly by Spidey. Brother, judging by the sound of pandemonium out there, Spider-Man needs me about as much as the Hulk needs vitamin pills. So I might as well get back to my seat and enjoy the rest of the show. The worst part about this double identity business is changing clothes all the time. What a bore. Here's my seat again. And judging by everyone's pulse rates, which sound as loud as Tom Tom's to me, the whole audience is still in a deep trance. Meantime, in the area below. Don't be greedy, boys. Only one punch to a customer. He'll be singing a different tune after I wrap this 500-pound barbell around him. For shame, Samson. Don't you know better than to try to sneak up on a citizen who's loaded with spider sense? Ugh. Glad to see you've been eating your Wheaties, big boy. Now just hold on to this toy for another second. If you can. Tisk tisk, Butterfingers. <laughs> Now's our chance to get him, while he's weighted down with that barbell. What makes all you boys so hostile? You must have had unhappy childhoods or something. Well, I can't stand around holding this thing forever. Here, catch. Look out. He tossed it like a basketball. Well, don't just stand there. That thing's heavy. You'd better lie down. Meanwhile, it's time for me to practice my high jumping. No applause, please. The act isn't over yet. Well, beat you. We're the kings of the high trapeze. Well, here's where you lose your crowns. Ha! Ah, I split your trapeze. Now you're finished. That was a rash, impetuous thing to do. Don't you know what those things cost? You've only yourself to blame for this. Until you get me a new trapeze, I'll have to ride on yours. No, don't. Get off. You fool. You'll make us both topple to the ground. But you can't stay up here forever. You'll catch your death of cold. You maniac. Now, what are you doing? 
And as much as you don't want to fall, I'm just wrapping you up nice and snug. Now you can swing to your heart's content. But I'm afraid I'll have to be leaving now. I forgot my union card, and I don't want the rest of the acrobats to pick at me. Meanwhile, down below... We've got him trapped now. He can't keep his balance on the high wire and defend himself at the same time. Just point me in the right direction and fire. The great Gambino never misses. Now, lower your head. Butt him off the wire. Don't worry, it's as good as done. Well, well, company, and I didn't even bake a cake. You lame brain, did you think I'd stand still and wait for you to hit me? Well, where'd he go? Don't worry, I'm not lost. Us friendly neighborhood Spider-Man know our way around pretty well. He's tossed his web over me. But, but why? Okay now, sure shot. Giddy up, horsey. We're going back to the stable. No, don't. You can't. I've got to land in the safety net at the other side of the arena. Now, now, you don't want old Spidey to think you're a creature of habit, do you? I'm going to show you a nice new way to land. Here goes. Look out. Run. Happy landing, sweetie. That wasn't a bad act, group. The only thing what puzzles me is, what do we do for an encore? Oh, well. Let's see now. Are you all present and accounted for? Hmm. I have a sneaky suspicion that someone's missing. And there he is. Now I know how you stay so slim, Ringy. You're always running. My hat. Once I get my hands on it, I'll have Spider-Man under my control again. I'm not beaten yet. And now, you brash, boastful, brazen boar. Ah, uh, now you'll pay for your taunts and insolence. Boy, I'll bet they feed you cornflakes three times a day. You'd make Thor sound like a teenage swinger. I shall treasure those caustic words, Spider-Man, for they are the last ones you'll ever utter, of your own free will. And now, repeat after me. I must obey the Ringmaster. His will is my will. His will is my will. He can't see that my eyes are closed behind my opaque eyelids. You've had it, chum. Your hypnosis doesn't work on me anymore. You flubbed your one last chance. And now, if there are no further questions, we'll bring the session to a close. My way. No, wait. I'll make a deal with you. Stop. I never deal with gents who have glass jaws. <laughs> Whoops. Mustn't lose the hat. And among the entire audience, only one face lights up with amused satisfaction. Only one pair of hands bursts into applause. Bravo, Spider-Man. I couldn't have done much better myself. That must have been Daredevil. Everyone else is still in a trance. But with all the echoes in this place, I can't tell where the voice came from. Well, wherever Daredevil is, I'm glad he enjoyed the show. Although I wonder how he managed to resist the Ringmaster's hypnosis. It all happened so suddenly that only a blind man could have been unaffected. Well, naturally, that can't be the answer. Oh well, I'll dope it out someday. Now that you and your playmates are all nicely gift-wrapped, I'll see if I can wake up your audience. I've heard of some shows putting people to sleep, but this is just ridiculous. Blast! you Spider-Man, if not for your interference. Along with that masked daredevil, I'd have succeeded. Dream on, mister. That's what they all say. Just as I thought, the Ringmaster's hypnotic power came from his hat. In some way, he managed to create an electronic energy flow which magnifies all the thoughts of the one nearest the hat and projects them outward with irresistible impact. Boy, I'm getting to sound like Reed Richards. Okay, folks, snap out of it. The show is over. Time to go home. Within seconds, the hypnotic spell is broken and the audience awakens, thinking that they have seen an exciting performance. What a great show. Best dang circus I ever saw. Did you enjoy it, Matt? Well, I did manage to stay awake. But minutes later, as the crowd files out... Oh, where's Mr. Murdoch? He was here a second ago, if we lose him in this crowd. However, not far away, the irrepressible Lord Murdoch makes one last private joke. I couldn't help hearing the police taking you away, sir. If you should need a lawyer, here's my card. Ah, get lost. Keep on moving, Joe. There he is, Karen. Mr. Murdoch, we were getting so worried about you in this big crowd. I'm okay, Karen. I was just, uh, trying to draw up some business. Well, that's the last of the Ringmaster and his crew. Too bad I didn't get to know Daredevil better. You see, Mr. Murdoch, you can enjoy the circus, just like anybody else. Karen's right, Matt. And she'll never know just how right she is. Well, Spider-Man... Ho-hum. Betty's probably still mad at me because I didn't take her to the circus. Aunt May is probably waiting to nag me some more about dating that Mary Jane chick. The most fun I had all day was fighting for my life. How about that? 
Daredevil appears regularly in his own magazine. The adult Spidey will be back next issue to thrill you as usual. Till then, Stan and Steve, and had himself say, always face front. The end. Well guys, that was the amazing Spider-Man issue number 16. We got to see the introduction to Daredevil and Spider-Man first meeting Daredevil in person for the first time, all of which was pretty cool, and we can see things are getting stressed even furthermore with Betty and Peter. And of course, we see Peter putting off meeting with Mary Jane once more. But nonetheless guys, if you guys enjoy this series and want to see it continue, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.